Hello again everyone. So yesterday I did a talk on the NBA Finals and today I'm going to talk about the Stanley Cup Finals in the NHL. Blackhawks taking on the Lightning. Blackhawks did win Game 1 with a 2-1 score and we got Game 2 coming up tonight. So who I think is going to win this series. I do think the Blackhawks are going to win this series in 6. I would have said that regardless even if they had lost Game 1. Um, I do think they're um, very evenly matched up, but there's a couple reasons why I think the Blackhawks are going to win this series. Number one is I think they've had a bit of an easier road getting to the finals compared to the Lightning. The Blackhawks uh, beat Nashville in six in the first round, were able to sweep Minnesota in the second round, and then had a seven-game series against the Ducks in the conference finals, so obviously that was a, a tough hump for them to get over there. But the Lightning had a seven-game series against the Red Wings in the first round, six-game series against Montreal in the second round, and then a seven-game series against the Rangers in their conference finals. So I think that sweep that the Blackhawks had against Minnesota um, back in the second round is going to come into play now. I think that allowed them to be a little more rested. They had about a week off uh, between series there, and that's going to come into play now, even though that week off happened uh, like almost a month ago now. Um, it's going to be important that they were able to have that time off that the Lightning didn't get um, since they had to play two seven-game series and a six-game series to get to the point that they are at the uh, Minnesota were able to play three fewer games. So we'll see We'll see what happens with that there. Um, I do think it's going to have a factor now. Crawford has been a great goaltender for the Blackhawks as well. Bishop has also been a great goaltender for the Lightning, so I'll talk a little bit about both of them now. Crawford's uh, got a 246 GAA this postseason with a 921 save percentage as well as one shutout. So those are fantastic. Uh... Yeah, not not to beat a dead horse, but I have said that if you want to be a successful goaltender, you got to have a 900 save percentage, and 921 is fantastic. It's a better save percentage than Bishop for the Lightning, only by a couple points, um, but these two goalies match up very, very similar. Bishop with the Lightning's had a 214 GAA with a 919 save percentage and three shutouts. So, like I said, very evenly played um, um, comparison between the two. With Chicago, though, Darling has had three of the wins that have gotten them to this stage. Uh, Darling's been playing with a 2-2-1 GAA and a 936 save percentage. So his numbers are a little bit better than Crawford's, but again, he's only played in three games uh, compared to the, the ones that, Crawf that Crawford has played in. So um, I think Crawford is going to be the goaltender going forward in the finals here for the Blackhawks, unless he has a horrible game two tonight. Um, I do I do see Crawford going forward um, as the starting goaltender for the Blackhawks. Bishops is obviously going to be the starting goaltender for the Lightning. He's been in, in net the whole playoff uh, whole playoffs for them. So that's definitely going to be the matchups going forward there. Um, looking back at Game 1, obviously uh, the Lightning did have the lead going into the third period, but that's where games are won and lost, and Chicago was able to get two goals in that third period and uh, and find a way to win. Um, there was also only five penalties play, uh, called in, in that game, and I think that's how this series should be done. I think the refs kind of need to put the whistles away, let these guys play. Um, the last thing you want is a game to be decided by a late power play, by a by a poor tripping call or a poor roughing call or something like that, um, especially at this stage of the game, you want you want you want the team to win the Stanley Cup to not be able to say like that the refs helped them or if you lose, so the refs made bad calls or whatever. Again, those are excuses. You don't want to hear those in the playoffs. So I think the refs should keep the penalty calling to a minimum. And hopefully that'll continue on in Game 2 and as the series goes forward. Uh, game 1, though, for the Lightning, uh, Kalorn had the goal for the team with Strawman and uh, Filpola getting a couple assists there. They did have 23 shots on goal. The Blackhawks had 21. So not too many shots on the net. Um, and I think that just proves that the defense is great. Um, and they're, they're keeping the pucks away from the goaltender as well. That's why these goaltenders have great numbers. Um, if they were facing 30-plus shots a night, who knows if their numbers would be as good as they are. But that's going to be key is keeping the shots to a minimum for both teams. Um, obviously, the Blackhawks did win 2-1 with a couple fewer, fewer shots on goal, but they got those goals in the third period, and that's where you got to take down deep. And the guys that uh, you know have been stepping up and playing well, like the Canes and the Taves for the Blackhawks this postseason, weren't the guys that got the win in Game 1. It was uh, Teravainen and Vermet that scored the goals for the team. So you have those secondary guys that are going to step up in this, in this uh, finals uh, and are going to need to continue to produce for the team. Um, in any in any league, you can't have one or two guys win you a Stanley Cup. It's important to have guys like Kane and Taves produce as well as they have been in these playoffs. But it's guys like Teravainen and Vermet and the and Shaw um, who chipped in with one of the assists and Duncan Keith um, with his seventeenth seventeenth assist of this playoff and that first goal by Teravainen um, that are going to get you 
get you over the hump and get you that Stanley Cup title. So I do think the Blackhawks are going to win this series in six. Going over some of the players for the Blackhawks, obviously, like I said, Kane and Taves are the two main guys for that team. Kane's got a 20-point playoff uh, so far. Taves has got 18. Uh, Kane's got 10 goals, 10 assists. Taves, 9 goals, 9 assists. So they've both been playing very, very well. Uh, Hosa and Sharp both have 4 goals, respectively, as does Shaw. Um, Hosa's got 9 assists, Sharp's got 8, and Shaw's got 6 assists, so they've been playing very well. Uh, Brad Richards, great veteran presence on the team. He's got a couple goals and 9 assists there. Uh, Seabrook's got 6 goals. Uh, Saad's got six goals. Like I said, Tara Vanen's now got three goals and five assists in these playoffs um, as he assisted on Vermette's second goal in that game one. Vermette's now got three goals and three assists in these playoffs. So you got a lot of guys that are contributing, but obviously Kane and Taves are, are the, the one and two guys there. If the Blackhawks do win this series, um, looking at the Conn Smythe and who I think is deserving of it, I think if these Blackhawks win this playoff series... Um, I don't think Crawford's going to win the Conn Smythe, even if he plays great, and that's because he didn't get all the wins to get them to the stage. Darling's got three of those wins. If Crawford had played in every game and got and got the 13 wins that they needed so far, um, then obviously I think he would definitely be a Conn Smythe favorite. That's that's why I think Bishop will win it for the Lightning. If he doesn't win it with the Lightning, I think Johnson would obviously be the four the forefront person to win it for the Lightning. But at, with the Blackhawks, I do think the Conn Smythe Trophy should go to Duncan Keith. I know that might come as a bit of a surprise with how productive and how well Kane and Taze have been playing in these playoffs, but Duncan Heath has 17 assists so far in these playoffs. He could finish the playoffs easily with 20 assists, so he's got 19 points. I know he only has a couple goals, but he's got 17 assists, and he's the main reason why Kane and Taves have 10 goals and 9 goals respectively, is he's finding them um, at the right opportunities, and a, and a 17 assist playoff is, is fantastic. Like I said, if he can have a 20 assist playoff, that's fantastic. He's also got a plus 14 rating, which is leaps and bounds above anybody else in this in this finals right now. Hedman's got a plus 19 for the Lightning, but he's the closest person to them when you look at a plus minus. So when you got a guy who's going to have a potential 20 assists playoff with a plus 14 um, rating, that's fantastic. And I think Keith is deserving of a con Smythe. I think he should definitely get, get a look at if the Blackhawks win this series. Switching over to the Lightning, um, like I said, with Bishop having a fantastic playoffs, getting to this part they are at now with a 214 GAA and 919 save percentage, as well as having three shutouts, I think he would definitely be a Conn Smythe favorite for the Lightning. If it doesn't go to him, I think Johnson would obviously be the guy you'd be looking at. Maybe Kucherov. Uh, Johnson's got 12 goals and 9 assists these playoffs, so he's the leading goal scorer between these two teams in the playoffs um, with 21 points as well, which is fantastic. Kucherov has 9 goals and 10 assists. Um, Kalorn has 8 goals, 9 assists. Stamkos finally back in the conference finals. He started to turn around. He's getting a little more production now with this team. Um, he's got 7 goals and 10 assists. Um, Palat's got 7 goals and 8 assists. So you got a lot of guys here that have been, been playing well for them. Uh, Philpola and Hedman both have 9 assists, respectively. Strawman's got 7 assists. So you got a lot of guys that are that are uh, getting some assists, finding the open men, and again, getting some goals in there for sure. But I don't think they're going to find a way to to beat these Blackhawks. Um, if they find a way to tie this series up in Game 2, then I think it'll be a very, very interesting series. If the Blackhawks do go up 2-0, um, I still don't think it'll be a sweep. I do think the Lightning definitely have, have the skill and the talent to find a way to get some wins in this series, and that's why I'm thinking it'll go 6. Um, but if the Lightning do win this series, I think the Conn Smythe will kind of be a toss-up between Bishop or Johnson. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. If, if Bishop gets another shutout in this in this series or something like that, or um, you know they win in 5 or something crazy like that, then I definitely think Bishop gets the edge over Johnson. But if it turns into a seven-game series, then I think maybe Johnson is the one that wins the Conn Smythe. So those are my thoughts on the Conn Smythe trophy is. If the Blackhawks win, I think Duggan Keith is the most deserving. If the Lightning win, I think it's a toss-up between Bishop and Johnson. So those are my thoughts on the Stanley Cup Finals. Looking forward to Game 2 tonight. Thank you again all for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at gham614. And those are my thoughts on the Stanley Cup Finals. Thank you again. Appreciate all the support. Bye-bye.